Hi, Stark Centeno, and let's talk today about a normal versus abnormal clivoaxial angle, or CXA. It's also called a clivocanal angle. So a CXA is measured between the clivus, as shown below, and the dens, or axial, so clivoaxial angle. And it really pertains to how far forward the skull is rotated relative to that dens or the spinal canal. And the best paper on what abnormal probably should be is by Fraser Henderson. Uh, Dr. Henderson is a craniocervical instability surgeon. And if you look at the amount of stretch on the medulla and spinal cord, it really starts to become very concerning at about 120 degrees. And if you look at the best paper we have for an upright MRI, that's the Nicholson paper, then anything getting below 128 degrees starts to become abnormal. So if you look at those two, you can probably say that once you start to get below 130 degrees with a clavoaxial angle, and usually that's measured either in neutral or in flexion, then you start to become concerned that you've got too much pulling force on the medulla and spinal cord, and that may be causing spinal cord injury. Now, you can do a diffusion tensor imaging to look at the health of the cord in that area, because that's not a hard and fast rule, but that's the general concept. Now, I know there are things online that say that anything below 135 or 140 is abnormal, but this would be the best research we have to date at around 130 and below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.